I got myself a village and a railroad that cuts straight through it. But how in the heck am I even supposed to get the village on the train in the first place? That is correct. Today, we're actually going to be getting into one of the first of what I imagine to be at least a few um, passenger train stations on this railway. All I have done to start this and set it up is lay the track, lay the ballast, and I also built this little retaining wall to hopefully prevent villagers from jumping down and stepping on the tracks below, which I imagine to be a uh, good idea, I think. First thing I'm doing here is I'm going to build a little footbridge over the station so both sides of this village can be connected and also this is going to come down on the station platform. In my previous iteration of the, uh, you know, the immersive railroading let's play, this was like a, um, there was like a ticket booth and all that. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to make a station platform with some places to sit and I think it should be good. Before I get too much further into this build, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to a certain Luke Chihu, who very generously super chatted during the premiere of the last part of this series. I do not, you know, I don't directly ask for your support in that way, but it is, of course, very much appreciated, and I'm going to recognize said thing. I think this uh, little footbridge will bear the name, and if this is going to set the precedent for Super Chats making it in here, I don't know. I haven't really put too much thought in it. I just thought this was a fun way to say thank you. So, Luke, I appreciate you. Thank you very much, friend. Unfortunately, I'm not in a version of the game that allows dying the text on the sign, but thank you very much, as always, for your support. That is tall enough, yes? I mean, granted, I'm not about to be taking, like, you know, double stack, like, intermodal anything through here. I, or at least I personally haven't seen anyone mod those in yet, but, uh... You know, I could be wrong. I have not decided what kind of wood I'm going to make this platform out of. You see, part of me, because I, I used the acacia logs because it's part of the village, but I don't know if I want to use acacia planks. I still think I'm going to revert to spruce stuff because that just feels a little more in line with the palette I'm already like started with. So I think that is how I'm going to go about it. Now, here's, here's the thing, right? Because of the fact that I'm using narrow gauge, you really can't, you know, sit in it fully. So there are some things I need to kind of pick and choose in terms of how realistic I want to be. That thing I'm talking about right now is how high the platform is going to be in relation to the train cars. And I think a half slab up will do the job just fine because obviously I can't extend towards the platform too much because, I mean, you know, there's the gap there. But let's make this work, huh? Do I want a staircase down this side? I don't really need one. You know what? We're going to get rid of it, and we are going to replace it with the same kind of wall end that we've been using for, like, the retaining wall over here. And that is stairs here, slabs here. And I understand that there is obviously a chance that a villager could do this. Once again, I'm not going for, like, a comprehensive solution, but I do want to make it nice. So we're going to, to the best of our ability... Make it nice. How long did I say I want this the <clears throat> platform to go? I think I said I wanted it to extend to around here. So you know what? Where we are with it is just about perfect. Are there palace site stairs in this version of the game? <laughs> Never mind. That's stupid. Stupid. It makes me mad. <clears throat> okay, so that is the empty platform so far. I think it looks pretty good. I might do something about because like as much as I like the design I have for the walls here better idea I have a much better idea so the idea at hand is just to not worry about it bring this in actually you know what <gasps> I had a much 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 cooler idea I am going to get rid of this train because part of me really likes the okay so how far along is this Oh, I picked that perfectly. Okay, and where does this go until? Okay, so I need like a little bit of straight track before this. Okay, so let's go like two. Okay, three. Three. Uh, four. It's gotta be four. Four. Boom. Awesome. And then let's go 76, which is the remainder of that length. And we'll make it straight, but then I could go not Texel track. I don't know what Texel track is. Ooh, grade, I could do grade crossing. Wooden grade crossing. Okay, I'm going to be 100% honest. All these different, like, track styles I haven't seen. I guess I installed more resource packs that added more track. Oh, what? <laughs> That's so cool. Okay. I, I was thinking just like this. So, uh, uh, spruce wood. I was thinking just like of this. 
and just let that, yeah. Yeah, that feels good. Okay, I'm not that worried about where it goes beyond the station because part of me is wondering if I want to curve this somehow and meet it up with this line, but I feel like that would be a really tight radius curve and I'm not too certain of myself at the moment, but I am not going to worry about that right now because our focus is the station platform. So we shall continue. Something else I wanted to say, because uh, in my previous video in this series, I showed off some of the music that I uh, have available and or am working on. And I just really want to say that uh, I, once again, I appreciate the response to the music. Uh, it's, uh, you know, I know a lot of people are here for the trains, but music is something I really am passionate about. And uh, it, it makes me really happy to see, you know, that you all are kind of here for it and you dig it. So, uh, yeah, thank you very, very much. Uh, I I really, really do appreciate the uh, support you guys sent my way on that. Uh, more music will be coming soon. And uh, in case it wasn't clear, the uh, music at the end uh, in the little montage that I included at the end of the previous video, that was a custom little tease too. Uh, I'm not going to explain much about that song, but uh, yeah, that's a fun one. Keep your ears out. Anyways, I do believe this side of the platform is ready to be like a platform and not just a weird abstract shape. Perfect. So that looks really good. I am looking at the way this meets the, I didn't mean to break that. What the heck? Oh boy. Is that the right distance? I don't think it is. It is. How the heck did that work? Okay. Wait, no, it's not going to be. Wait, it will. Wait. How does this very silly video game work again? Uh, so we're gonna make it sort of symmetrical with where this road is rolling up. So I'm actually going to skip a block on the other side too. Go one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Weird that that's placing sideways when I put it in the grass. Three, three, and I'm gonna pray. Ooh, doesn't quite line up, but I will fix this after the fact. So. First things first, right off the bat, not going to waste any time, slash fill. Perfect. Beautiful. To finish the thought, uh, let me check over here and see how this matches up. So it just went right up to it with the wall. Okay. And you know, no surprises here. It's the same wall design. It's just a little longer because it's a little further from the station this time. So let's grab the, you know, the palette and... Uh, Continue. Why is there a piece of track there? That shouldn't be there. Silly, the track goes on the platform so all the people can wave to the people on the train and it's super awesome. That's not why it's there. It was there by mistake. Okay, so next question, lighting. How is this going to stay illuminated? I need to test this. So if this goes all the way to here, uh, oh, that's annoying. Okay, so what I've discovered is that it lines up over here, but then when we get to over here, oh, it's because of the, um, oh, okay. I think I'm gonna, I am going to make this one block longer. <laughs> And I'm going to shift the entire design over by one block just so everything could line up on this side and look really nice at the ends of the station because I have a very cool, I think, idea for how I wish to approach the lighting for the platform. So give me a second to shift this whole thing down by one block and I will be right back. Okay, so now with the platform actually done and everything lining up the way I kind of want it to, Let's grab some torches. First thing I'm thinking, down the length of the platform, I'm just gonna throw torches on each of these posts. It just feels right. Torches, torches, torches and torches. And I should add some stuff up here, right? Yeah, that'll do the trick. Something like this, that uh, I'll change them over here so they match. And then let's add some lights here. Even though this is more village than it is train station, I do think adding light just works. Yeah, there we go. See? All right. And then I will um, also add here and then uh, here as like the main entry points. Now, what I want to do to kind of finish this off and tie it all together, there's a few things that jump to mind when I think train station, and they are seats, they are uh, shade, and they are garbage bins. Cauldron? Cauldron. Cauldron. Garbage bin. 
I don't believe I have the composter because I'm not in that version of the game, but that is okay. We could do Oakwood stairs and sign combo. That pretty much never fails. You know the one. I feel like if there's anyone out there who claims to be a builder in Minecraft and has never made a chair using a stair and a sign, they, uh, that's tough. But honestly, looking at this, I feel like a bench would be better. I don't know. Let me get let me get a slab and kind of feel it out. Just like a bench. That would be better over on that side because it's wider. Okay, so for this, we're actually going to put chairs. Let's go two chairs and then we'll do garbage bin and then like a little umbrella thing, I guess, if you would call it that. How do I really feel about it? It's too umbrella-y, not very train station-y. You feel better. Is there another option? Mm, you know what? I think that might be the play right now. Ah, oh, am I sure about that? Ooh, that's a tricky one. This is a weird build. Um, tell you what, we'll do something a little more substantial than just like an umbrella looking thing or whatever for the shade solution. So let's add another big space here. We'll go one, two, three, one, two, three. We'll put a garbage bin there. Okay, so a little bit of symmetry going on. Okay, and is there something worth putting in the middle? I'm gonna be 100% honest too. I'm second guessing my decision to use spruce wood for the platform because it is an acacia village and I'm not sure yet how I feel about the colors. How does that make me feel? That makes me feel... Can live with it for now. We're gonna do something a little more substantial on this side for sure, because I don't know, it just feels like a bigger platform would be more conducive to something like that. So I'm wondering, do I add some kind of small awning just over the station or do I kind of build these up and make something big that goes over the top of the whole thing? And I'm gonna be 100% honest, I think I already have my decision because I like the way that would feel way more. So here's what we're gonna do. I think I already know how I'm gonna build this roof and it's gonna go something like this. So we're gonna go two up there, two up there. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, it's going to be like a trapezoidal roof. Trapezoidal is a word, I just looked it up. There we go, okay. So now I just need to build the roof that goes like, you know the one. But what I'm gonna do first is... This is so close to working. Man, do I re-implement the wooden cross beams? As much as I hate thinking about it. We're backtracking a lot in this, but I want it to look right. As much as it annoys me to say it, I do believe the acacia log structure that I started with is the, you know, the right way to go about this. I just need the, the right, like, complete execution. As much indecision as it took to get here, I think, yeah, I can, oh my gosh, it looks really good. This is why we decide, this is why we take our time. We don't wanna rush it. It looks really good when we take our time. It's just annoying that you gotta take time. What do we learn today? It's worth the time, okay. We have a closed roof, finally. I think I just need to fix the lighting issue and then I can't really complain about it. Let's do something with the actual roof because I have an idea. I'm thinking we hit him with the classic daylight sensor redstone lamp trick. Oh, but those are the right way around. So if I go time set 18,000, they're gonna turn off. Can I flip them? Yeah. But that's a little better in terms of lighting. I do believe there is one, I, I do believe there's a little more to be done. Again, I'm really not trying to get bogged down on the little stuff, but I've been recording for an hour and 20 minutes, all things considered. And <laughs> there have been a lot of things considered. I think I'm satisfied. Oh my gosh, it's, it's big. Now that I'm like looking at it. Goodness, I didn't realize it was so huge. Who let me build it this big? Do I put another seat here? Yeah, sure, whatever. One more seat. Awesome. This took forever. And I think I'm happy enough with this platform to call it done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go fire up a locomotive, bring it down here, and we are gonna have ourselves a little video. So without further ado, where are you? You, my friend, train that I have already prepared for this. You need to fire up for me. This is gonna take a while. I suppose while that's 
steaming up, I can actually show you the entirety of the railway from start to finish so far. I do intend on this to be a complete loop. So where this track begins right here, if I keep going this way when it is done, it will come all the way back. So we start here, cross the bridge you saw me build in the first video in this series. We take a right turn through this little makeshift tunnel here. Cut right past this temple. The little ballast under this track sometimes disappears, but I assure you, if I remind the game that it exists, it will remember to exist. We come down this, it's, it's very gently inclined to cut past this little tiny little pond. And then we go towards the beach, straighten out. This is where we hit the siding, little spur. It's where we turn into the station and the roundhouse. After that, the siding comes back in. And this stuff I haven't ballasted yet. This is track I pretty much have just laid. But we swing around here and the track loops back around towards that desert again. I have yet to decide whether I want to integrate that village into the railway. But for certain, there's a village just past this bridge and it's where this whole thing originally started. Uh, any minute now we're gonna see it. There it is, yep. We are gonna come from there and we've connected to the other village. Blah, de -de blah, de -de blah. That train better be fired up by now. Oh, come on. That looks, oh, and it's blowing the steam everywhere. Oh my goodness. Slowly rolling in. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. This feels so alive and oh my goodness. I'm so happy about this. Tell me I timed the release of the throttle perfectly. I don't think I did. I need to use the brakes myself. Uh, yes, 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 all aboard, etc. Let's go. Ah, oh, that feels nice. I really don't have anything else to say. It's just, a, it, it, again, it's, it's, it's the same thing with all these builds. Once I build it and I see it in action, I'm like, now I gotta move on to the next thing because this is a huge product and I can't dwell on the little things for too long. He says after he just spent a really, really long time building this, but I am quite pleased with what this looks like. So I think I'm gonna end this video here. So if you like this video and you like this build and you wanna see more cool stuff like this, do please strongly consider subscribing and sharing this video to your friends, places, things, and the blah, blah, blah. But that's gonna be this video. And I will see all of you in the next one. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.